My name is uh, Reverend Gloria Gelson. I am a St. Carlos Apache, uh, and I'm f from St. Carlos Apache tribe. But I, I've been called here to the Gila River Indian Reservation to work among the Pimas. And I have a church here called Co-op Indian Assembly of God, and I've been here and working among uh, the Pima people. Uh, along with other tribes here on the reservation. And uh, we minister mainly to children and teens and um, trying to help them with their self-esteem. And uh, this is a place where they call their home. They're not too worried about um, the church, how it looks, the building. All they want to come in is because they feel accepted here and um, they see us as their their family, and we're part of their family. Now let's go into the service that's already in progress. This is my story about this one man who came in this world. I heard he died. Hi, my name is Erica. I'm half Hopi from the Hopi Reservation, and I'm from the Pima Reservation, um, or the Hill River Reservation. Um, I am going to share my testimony. Um, well, I started out when I was, I became, uh, started going to church and um, gave my heart to Jesus when I was 14 years old um, my grandma actually introduced me to this church and ever since then I started coming to this church I really didn't know anything about Jesus or I wasn't really committed to Jesus so um, I don't know I, when I was living at home 
we had a lot of stuff going on and um, it wasn't really, uh, I don't know, it, our family was, uh, I can't explain it right. Um, well, before I started coming to church, the, there was a lot of stuff going on between our family. Our family wasn't together. Um, we just got taken away from my mom. We had CPS in our life for like half of, like ever since I was 10, CPS was in our life. We just been taken away here and there. We're just all over the place. We're just um, different family. My, me and my brothers were never together. I have two brothers and one sister. And so um, when I came to church, I really didn't want to come here. I didn't really want to do anything. I just wanted to be here because my grandma told me to be here. So, But um, I found that um, found out there was going to be a youth convention, um, the Arizona Youth Convention, and I went to that with Pastor Gloria. And then I was like, um, they're having everyone, um, you know, Want, whoever wanted to give their hearts to Jesus, they um, to go up there. So I went up there, and I I was just I don't know. I just felt like the presence of God was there, and I was I just um, gave everything to Him because I had a lot of uh, hate in my heart. I had I was just really upset about my mom, and I just I don't know. I wasn't really happy at all, and I just wanted to um, give it all to the Lord and become you know better person and um that's that's when I gave my heart to Jesus and as the years went on um we had more troubles at home and let's see I don't know it's just really hard <laughs> to live at home because um it is really hard recently it was where I'm 18 now and I moved here with Pastor Gloria um because to have a better life and um I don't know ever he brought me a long way he brought me a long a long way because everywhere I went it was like I wasn't accepted I felt like everywhere I go I was always to blame um and I always blame myself for um <clears throat> for everything that has happened in the past like everywhere I go something would happen and to me and um or nobody would really want me at their house <laughs> so i kind of like um i realize now that that the only way i can be accepted is through jesus so that's that's a new thing in my life i just really uh, ex uh, uh um, accept jesus and um i'm growing with him and let's see I know there's a lot more I could say, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I've been through. I've been through a lot. I I feel like my life's been, like I've grown up spiritually, but not really because I'm still struggling in the flesh. <laughs> That's all I have, I guess, right now. Okay. Um. If you have, okay, um, I know millions of teenagers and kids out there who are going through trouble. Um, Jesus is the only way um, f to make you feel happy. To, um, it's like, G uh, okay, um, I don't know. I can, I can relate to all you guys who are hurting, um, are not accepted in many places who are hurt physically and stuff um just just stay stay around um jesus because you know he's the only way that he can give you lots of joy and stuff i don't know how to explain it right but god bless you, god bless you.